All right, let's take a look at how to inspect your aircraft oil filter. First thing you're going to need is oil filter cutter. You can get this from Aircraft Spruce. They can be a little pricey. Check out the link at the bottom of the show notes. And you're going to also need an X-Acto knife or a razor blade to actually remove the filter element. That's pretty much it. So we'll take our oil filter. We'll place the cutter on the top and then we just want to tighten the cutter down loosely just to begin that first uh, etching of the oil filter itself okay once that's done you're going to just uh, subsequently tighten the cutter or after two or three turns and you're just going to continue to do that until the uh, cutting blade penetrates the oil filter okay that's the easy way to do it what you don't want to do is tighten it down initially so tight that you can't even make the turns by hand All right, then remove the top of the uh, housing and the oil filter itself, the element should come out easily without problem. This one, this particular oil filter has been drained for weeks, so there's no residual oil inside the filter housing. So that can be tossed in the trash. Now we're going to cut the actual element out of the filter for this you want to use an exacto knife or a razor blade be real careful when you're cutting I learned this the hard way the the base of the exacto knife blade is pretty sharp and the uh, handle came off and I cut myself pretty good uh, on the base of the uh, X-Acto blade. So you really want to go in a downward motion so that if the so if the handle does come off your hand goes straight down and not onto the uh, base of the blade. Okay kinda like opening the filter just take your time if you have to do it multiple times do so. And once that's done on both sides, we can go ahead and remove the filter element very carefully. Now it's super important that you remember which side is which on the actual element. So make sure you're looking at the right side. Then you just pull the pleats apart and look into the uh, creases. That's where you're going to usually find your metal. First examination is going to be a cursory examination just with the Mark I eyeball. You're looking for huge chunks. You know, Hopefully you're not finding part numbers. Uh, the next thing you want to do is kind of run a, uh, a magnet looking for ferrous metals in the pleats. Okay. So we're doing that here with the uh, shop magnet. And if you have any ferrous metals, they're gonna they're gonna obviously be attracted to the uh, to the magnet. You're gonna see them on the face of the magnet. Okay, the third thing you want to do, and we don't really show that here, is um, you want to take your filter and you want to wash it with uh, a gasoline or um, some other type of solvent where you can. If there is uh, particulate matter, it'll be collected at the bottom of the uh, 
the bowl or whatever um, you're using to uh, to flush uh, the filter. That's really where you're going to find most of the material. It's, it, unless you have large part particles, you're not going to be able to see them um, just by inspecting the uh, filter visually. However, before I got to my top overhaul, I had lots and lots of pieces of metal that were pretty obvious. Some of them were alarmingly large uh, in my filter. Last thing I would do is get yourself a Ziploc bag, write the uh, information about the this particular oil filter, how many hours were on it, uh, when it was used by tack time, and save the filter in case uh, you have to go back and do additional analysis later down the road you'll have that as a uh, essentially as a historical document and that's it that's all to inspecting an oil filter in an aircraft